So, hello everybody. I'm here with Anthony. Hello, Christian. It's nice to have you there, here. Can you maybe briefly say uh, uh, who you are and where we are? You are in Crete. You are in Iraklion. You are in the Institute of Computer Science. I'm Anthony Savedis. I am an associate professor of programming languages at Software Engineering at the Department of Computer Science at the University of uh, Crete. And uh, we are also collaborating in uh, the DOS initiative, distributed DOS or software engineering, uh, with other 12 universities. We are one of the participants and we are happy that we joined you this year. And we are very happy to have you. So I have three questions for you. My first is, from your point of view, what are the most the main challenges in distributed software engineering? Yeah, uh, I think that the challenges uh, relate to the intersection between uh, distributed uh, collaboration and software engineering per se, in the sense that everything that relates to software engineering reappears and recurs when it is done in a distributed manner. So if I start from the bottom, uh, distributed source code uh, uh, management is an issue, ranging from versioning and uh, handling branches or even finding out who made the changes in the most quick way, not necessarily going through the SVN. The second relates to the architectural design or the software design aspects. I mean, uh, and then if this is a distributed uh, task, uh, it has to be managed by groups mm -hmm. that work uh, in different parts of the world. So again, distributed architectural design is an issue and consensus creation during architectural design and it's not a very simple uh, thing. Now, the first that relates to the requirements, I think that uh, practically is the easiest thing. So, I would think that uh, the implementation of such, the source code, uh, reflects the more challenging issues because it deals with editing, with writing, with uh, defect detection, debugging, and all these aspects. So, do you have any uh, insight for us on, on how to address these issues? Well, I think that we need uh, very powerful cooperation tools that are aware of the subject or the product of cooperation. If it is architectural design, we need not just co-presence and video conference, but tools that allow to do cooperative architectural design that they know the subject of creativity. And if we go in editing, in source code editing, it is not simply, m sometimes we think that uh, just merging or uh, combining uh, different versions does not suffice. What happens if you have two colleagues that want to wish to uh, work at the same program and they are one in China, another in Greece or in, uh, in, in Zurich? So distributed editing or debugging are very important, but the, the distribution tool should know exactly what is a distributed task and should provide uh, special customized facilities for this. If it is editing, for editing. If it is debugging, for debugging. If it is memory inspection, just for memory inspection. Okay. Um, so my final question, could you recommend some good software engineering practices, especially for the students who are taking the course? I think that, well, uh, we discussed about that. I think that the best we have now is design by contract. I'm not biased on that. I'm an evangelist of design by contract. I think that if someone wants to develop in a way that he doesn't have to write many comments, he doesn't have to write a lot of documentation, he doesn't have to spend hours of finding a bug in, uh, during uh, testing, but he would like the, the, to, to have the smallest possible time distance between the defect generation and defect de detection, mm -hmm. I think design by contract is, uh, is really the only way we have today. I wish that we could have in the future similar software engineering methods that are at the level of maturity and practicality and value as designed by contract. We don't have yet. So this is my, you know, for students you have to give a one or two messages. I stick to one message. Designed by contract, defensive programming. Okay. That is the key to programming paradise. Excellent. Antonio, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here again.